All right, so we have Waking the Trolls, which is, you know, what I do every time I start streaming. Um, decent pack. Valkyrie's so Valkyrie Sword, Giant's Amulet, and Feed the Serpent are also, like, very reasonable things to grab. But, again, we're taking the rare. Maybe we get to play this rare, maybe we don't. But I do think it's a playable rare. It's a little bit slow, so we need to draft a deck that can, like, survive to the late game. But if we get to do this, this is very strong. Like, Chapter 3 is no joke. Like, just get, like, three, maybe even four trolls. Like, holy crap. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, no rare here, but there is a side coming. Creature card with power 6 or greater. Sadly, it's not CMC 6 or greater. I actually think Rootless U is just good, though. Like, it's a chunky beat, like, chunky beefy body that goes to find more chunky beefy bodies when it dies. There's also a, pr a pack mate, but I think this card is a little bit better. Maybe I'm wrong about that, though, but I'm going to take it. It's not uncommon. I'm, like, more interested in messing around with uncommons. Um... So we'll see what happens here. We'll see what happens here. Uh, all right. Well, prized into the Reckless Crew here, unfortunately. What would I have taken if Reckless Crew wasn't here? Yikes. The pack head's pretty bad. Pretty quick. Um, maybe an Immersturm Raider. God, what would I honestly? I don't even know what I would have taken. This pack is atrocious. So yay me, I get to take another guild free rare. Um, yeah. Mm, yeah. Like, hey, maybe I even wind up playing the rare. It is quote-unquote on color here, but... Yeah, not super excited about that. Man, these packs have been really mediocre. Like, really, really mediocre. Um... Like, yikes, dude. Like, these are all very bad cards. Like, Armory is fine, but it's such a build-around. I just don't think it's achievable. I could take a Sulphur's Mire and speculate on being, like, Jundish. I can just take a random not bolt or clues, because it's like, like fuck what I'm taking, honestly. But god, like pick four not bolt recluse? Vomit. Like, that's just so bad. Not happy about that. No, we're not taking demand yet, but. Hmm. Alright, taking the rare here. Taking a hedge gate pathway. Missing out on the Lindworm and the Horizon Seeker here, to be fair. Lindworm is a cute little thing to go fetch with the Rootless U. Um, but yeah, we're going to take the other pathway here. Also, goddamn, this art is nice. Yeah, I have no regrets buying the full arts for these. These are freaking gorgeous. Goddamn. Um, it's obviously, like, not exactly on color or anything, but it's a rare, and it's also, yeah. You know, we all, we all know what we're getting in for. Thank you. Set a power nap, honestly. I'll feel better. This ball is very wet. Um, Ice Hide Troll. Mentor is fine, I guess. Format of 3 2 that gives you another 1 1 body is like okay. There's a Bind the Monster, and I do think the first Bind the Monster is good, but I'm not, like, trying to change my colors to pick it or anything like that. I can play exactly one in a blue deck, and it's not the kind of thing you switch out of your current colors to be. Um, yeah, this seems okay. Turn down. All right, who's stacking packs? 
Log soul. Oh, this is one of those whatchamacallits. What's that word for like when a word is the same backwards? It's that. Um, okay. My love affair with Graven Giant does not appear to be over. Um, I wouldn't hate a Lindworm again. We do want a target for the Rootless U at some point if we can, but Palindrome, thank you. Um, but yeah. Craven Ult's just a good card, and it does look like we are shaping up to be red-green, so. Mm. Hmm. None of this is like terribly appealing. I might just take the breakneck berserker. That's like a decent aggressive body. It's not particularly impressive, but it's better than anything else. Wow. Really? This wheeling seems a little odd to me. None of these other cards are good. So I'm going to take this on spec. It's definitely the best card in the pack. Um, ooh, we even got Provoke the Trolls back, too. Not bad. Not bad. I think I took Rootless Q over that. Maybe I'm wrong. I forget what I took over that. Maybe that was the one where I took Reckless Q over it. Either way, got it back. And we got it in a deck where, again, we actually might get to use it offensively as well as defensively, which is kind of cool. Hmm... Okay. Having a hard time staying away from the red. Red's commons feel very strong. Which is probably why I'm like gravitating. Ooh, nice. We actually will the one. Great. Great, great, great. This is a very solid pack one. I'm pretty happy with how we're doing so far. Pretty happy with how we're doing so far. Um, just take the random green card. Definitely not actually taking King Star. Like that card is definitely not good. It's too expensive. Hold okay. on. Um, well, acquire mythics. Disregard everything else. Uh, decent chance of a solid wheel out of this pack. Is this in limited or in constructed DC? We probably wheel either the Doomscar Titan or the Craven Hulk, and I'm happy with both. You can obviously take this, but. Ooh. Oh, F off, Tyrite Sanctum. Man, I might break. I might break tradition here. God, I don't want to take it. It's so bad. Don't want to take it. Not that we're like a legit playable. Oh, this card is really good. Whatever, chat, you're not my mom. Limited, nice. You got two rises. That's sweet. That's really sweet, actually. Um. Oh damn. Narfi's a house, but we're not taking that here. This is actually the only uh equipment I think is actually bad, like pretty actively bad. Um. 
like the creature equipment. Like it's just three equipped to give plus two plus one or plus one plus two in reach is just not good. And all you do is get a three minute two three reach out of the deal. It's just not a very good card. I think I'm actually gonna take either Horizon Seeker or Funeral Longboat. I might take the Longboat here. Um, nah, maybe that's a lie. Maybe I take the Horizon Seeker. It helps ramp us to our expensive shit, which is like actually kind of important. Ooh, Highland Forest is nice. I will take that over a second Horizon Seeker or a second Pup. Oh. Maybe Chad just doesn't care when I make this mistake, but so far y'all have been like pretty forgiving about it. Once again, I'm just going to say it every time I see it for now. PSA, do not pick Littering Frost. It will literally just break your game and you'll lose because you won't be able to take further game actions and you'll time out. Don't take this card. Don't put it in your deck. Don't take this card. Don't do it. Um... Yeah, I'll just take the 5-5 five, five for 5. It's like a totally fine card. Ooh, another Craven Hulk. Yes, please. Yes, please. We do want that. It just breaks for the reason I just said. It literally, like, you try to act like you enchant it onto your land. That's great. And then you try to tap the land, and it just stays stuck on the select mana menu. Did you use it? Did you ever actually activate it? Shut up, Project. I did demonstrate it. Go watch the VOD. I was a very sad panda. Um, then you got lucky. Because it is bugged. Unless they've implemented a hotfix already, but I haven't seen any uh, anything about that. Oh, maybe it's only when you tap the land manually. You may be right. But sometimes you need to do that because you need to select what kind of color you want, right? It's just not worth it's just not worth the fucking hassle. Maybe the auto tapper does work fine. Or I, I love getting a Cerul's pack made here as a side note. That card is like it is, I think, the best green common. Close, and if it's not, then it's a very, very close race between it and the uh, the fight spell that has uh, Fortel. Hmm. This art is really weird. I kind of don't like it. I might revert this one back to its regular art. What the F? Project, I do not know what you're up to over there. I see this screenshot. This is some nonsense. What is happening? Pretty funny shit, though. Um. Okay. Broken Wings for the sideboard's not bad. Is this card good? Four mana, get two two ones. Or for Fortel, you can do it for two mana. Doesn't seem very good. Probably just gonna take a sideboard broken wings. Oh, that wasn't you? Fair enough. Oh, yeah, yeah, we actually wield both of these. Now I've already got double Craven Hulk, so I think I'm gonna take a lot of good blue cards left in here, notably the Augury Raven. This card is like it's not it doesn't look super impressive, but getting a two mana three three flyer on the turn where you cast it is powerful. Anyway, I'm gonna take a Doomscar Titan over a third Hulk. Um Especially since I just got a third Hulk anyway. I actually probably will play all three of those. This is just a very good card. Um, Hulk is probably going to end up being my most picked common. I wouldn't be surprised by that at all. Don't want any of this nonsense, really. I guess I'll take an Emmersturm Raider. Maybe I wind up running it. Actually, you know what? Maybe let's just take a cold cover, uh, cold covered mountain. A snow covered mountain. Um, eh. Probably not even playing Puppy 1. Mm. We're definitely in the right colors. We found our lane, so I like that. Getting past lots of good late green and red, so that's nice. It's always good when you know you're not really fighting somebody over your cards. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hmm. 
This is pretty good. This is probably playable in my deck. Like, even if I'm not distributing counters, the drawing cards part doesn't care about snow. I'm like, I have three Craven Hulks, like, that are all four power. I've got Grizzled Outrider, Doomscar Titan. Yeah, this card looks good in my deck. I'm a fan. Let's go. Also, on color rare, always feels good. Hmm. No rare in this pack. Like, I could just get this Elderleaf Mentor nonsense out of here and just put, like, another Craven Hulk in. Like, how many Craven Hulks is too many Craven Hulks? Asking for myself. I was like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, like, I'm pretty, pretty doing okay with what we're doing here. Well, Blessing is always good as long as you can meet the condition, right? Like, like, there are going to be times where, like, ooh, Struggle for Scampfire is great here. Um, there are going to be times where that's, like, actually kind of hard to do. But there's, like, but if you have, like, a consistent amount of four power creatures, then it's just good. Um, also makes picking up the Snow-Covered Mountain a little, feel a little bit better, too. Uh, I wouldn't mind the Snow-Covered Forest, but I am going to take the Struggle for Scampfire. I think that card is great, as I've said already. Ooh. Ooh, jeez, same choice again? God damn. Do I want two? I kind of do. Um. Yeah, whatever, dude. The forests the forest are just, like, gravy for my one random card. I think that that's, like, more than fine. My four drop slot looks weird, but the nice thing is a lot of my fours, three of my fours are, like, kind of actually twos. Realistically. I'm probably cutting this fearless pop at this point. I mean, like, this looks pretty good to me. Oh, jeez, I get another Savella? Oh, this deck is nice, dude. This deck is nice. Let's go. Let's go. This deck looks good. Mmm, a thin? Yeah! Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's definitely not blue-black. That is for damn sure. <laughs> uh, jeez, man. My fours are kind of getting gummed up. I think I would rather the second... I definitely want two Cerules before I want three Struggles. But, like, we are getting... Um... Black, white, white, it's everything? No, not really. Like, if people can't deal with Wrath, then they should build decks that are less vulnerable to Wrath. So, I don't know. Like, Wraths are also vulnerable to other things, right? Like, so, it's just, it's just like it's uh What's the word I'm looking for? Like, a, uh... A rock, paper, scissors kind of deal, right? You're going to be good against some of the things they're doing. They're going to be better against other things. Uh, do I want a Glade Walker? Mm. Actually seems fine in this deck. Uh, don't want any of this nonsense. Let's just take the Uncommon for the... For the, pro for the gems, for the progress. For the Vault progress. Ooh. I don't need a Snakeskin Veil in this deck. Hammerstorm Raider number two would be interesting as well, but I think Veil number one is more interesting. Um, passing up nothing here. I mean... <laughs> yep. Oh, nothing to see here. Just my deck with five Craven Hulks in it. Um, man, if I'd gotten the red green spell land, I would have been over the moon. That would have been like the one. That's like the one thing this deck is really missing. This deck is nice though. Like I really, really like it. Okay, uh, bear with me while I quickly update my sheet before I forget. So I have three in my sideboard. Reckless Crew. Uh, Hengegate Pathway, Kaya. Uh, 
so Hengegate, Reckless Kaya, Hengegate, Reckless Kaya. H H H H H H H H. Where the hell is the H? There it is. All right, Hengegate Pathway. Reckless Crew number two. And then Kaya number two. Uh, and then in the deck. What are the rares? In the deck we have other than infinite Craven Hulks. We have Blessing of Frost and Waking the Trolls. One Waking the Trolls and one Blessing of Frost. Nice. Down to 41 required drafts. We are dropping. We are dropping. We started around like the 60s or something today, so we're doing pretty good. Um, okay, four cards need to come out. One, two, three. Realistically, fair enough. Probably cutting one of my five Craven Hulks is okay. Um, yep. I can. In uh, in Limited, there is no amount. The idea is that it's very rare for it, it to even happen in Limited that you can have more than four cards. But yeah, Limited actually, like, it, it basically never comes up, so it never matters. But secretly, yeah, you don't need to follow the forever rule uh, in Limited, specifically. Um... It says that it's exactly what it says. That the, the the spreadsheet is literally draft the rares, play open packs, but it basically tells you when you hit a point of guaranteed opening the rest of your rares. Because otherwise, like it's optimized to basically avoid you needing to craft a single rare from the set, uh, if at all possible. There, you don't need to literally do that because obviously at a certain point you just might be like, "Eff it, I will just craft the rest of them." But but technically, it is designed to let you know when you hit a point of literally you will not have to craft a single. Uh, rare. Um, it's really good for people that are playing free-to-play, where their rare wild cards are, like, extremely, extremely valuable to them. I'm, like, a little bit looser, obviously, there. Like, I'm not a free-to-play account by any stretch. Um, but that that is the advantage, essentially. Um... Just as I'm gonna play Coma, Alrund, and Vorinclex. Just the old trip Simic mythics, huh? Yeah, poor enough for DC, I guess. Dang, that is, uh, that's a beating. That's a beating. Drafting is gambling. Opening packs is gambling, right? Like, you have no way of knowing that you're going to get the card you actually want, so you may still have to go and get more to get the card you actually want, right? Opening packs is financially not a good idea. It never is. It never has been. It never will be. Um, it's just, you're almost always, unless you get incredibly lucky going to lose money doing it, always buy singles if that's actually, like, if you're looking for specific cards. If you are opening packs for the sheer joy of opening packs, fucking go for it, because that's a real thing, and that's totally fair. Um, we're on, like, semi-four-drop tribal. To be fair, both of these do foretell, or all four of these do foretell, so, like, our curve might resemble something a little bit closer to this. Um... I'm also like toying with playing um I'm toying with playing a uh an 18th land here. I'm toying with playing an 18th land and cutting like Glade Walker or like a the one like the fourth Craven Hulk, maybe. Cutting Hulks makes me sad though, I'm not gonna lie. Um What do we think? Do we think 18 lands, since our top end is like so chunky? Like, this also, to some extent, rewards us for making land drops consistently. Well, I've already cut one of my five, but I don't think I'm cutting more of those, no. Um, I could see just cutting the random shitty Glade Walker and, like, playing an 18th land. That seems fine. Um, we want to be base green here. So this is 8-8. Eight, eight. So I basically want to go 9-7... Yeah, we're going to go 9-7 on basics. Get our nice basics in. Let's 
seven of these, nine of these, and we have 18 lands, yeah. Yeah, it honestly feels fine to run 18 lands, because, like, our top end is so heavy that, like, we want to be hitting our land drops. And I like also just having the Immersturm Raider here, because it can help filter out if need be. Um, which seems pretty good to me. Yeah, I'm down with this. This looks pretty fun. Let's ship it. Um, get my sniffing tool going first. Sadly, the uh, the Berserker Tribal deck was good, but not good enough to be uh, to warrant being immortalized. We'll be seeing you. Um, let's see if this one does make the Hall of Fame. All right, let's go. The Stimming Tool is dying soon, and it blows my mind as to why. Because the tool, the tool tip, that, like the tool that they're replacing it with, is just actively worse, and it does it doesn't make any damn sense to me. The Stimming Tool just does exactly what you want it to, and it's so good. Um, but yeah, I will use it until it's dying breath. Uh, yep, this looks like gas, actually. Probably get to use Horizon Seeker, which is kind of nice. It really sucks that this doesn't... I think I ranted about this in the set review, but it really bothers me that this isn't, like, rampant growth. Like, shit, like, make the bows cost one more and turn it into rampant growth. I think that would just be better. Um, but in any, in any case, we do have, like, a decent little curve. We get to go turn two Finn, turn three Seeker... And then maybe turn four Hulk if we don't have to spend the mana to activate the Seeker. It's always so funny to me that it like says the color before it comes into play. Sure. Okay. Okay. Well, I was going to attack, but if they got the double spell, then I guess we're just going to chill. Wow, they're really tanking on that one. Oh, nice. We found the land. Love to see it. Horizon Seeker. No attacks. Like, we're just trying to get to the late game here. So I'm not I'm not in a hurry. Like we have we have the fat. My opponent's playing the double spell deck, which is I mean I'm a little bit scared of it, honestly. It's the one deck that's managed to dethrone my uh my otherwise stellar draft runs so far. So I'm a little bit uh stepping tool, it's just it's a tool that you have on PC. It basically just allows you to like highlight any area any like some amount of area on your screen and keep it um and keep it highlighted basically um all right what are we doing here so craven hulk attack let's do this first just taking the damage sure so then let's go savella and hold up a snakeskin veil Hey, they're just, they're just, they're just sunsetting it. I don't really know why. Oh, El Azul's here. How's it going? How's it going? Um, yeah, I don't know what they're getting rid of it for, but it's, they're just taking it away. I don't know why, but it's very annoying. They're like, oh, we're getting rid of this. We're updating with this, like, much better tool. And I use the much better tool and it's like, mm, no, this is not better. Hey, no worries, no worries. Shout out to all of the lurkers who are in the chat right now. I appreciate you all the same. If you do want to say hello, by all means, but no pressure whatsoever. That's fair. That's fair. What are you jamming if you don't mind uh, sharing the tech? Otherwise, you know, keep doing you. Ooh, Selesnia Angels. That's fun. There's some lurkers here. I've got 10 viewers according to Streamlabs, so... And we're definitely not 10 people chatting concurrently right now. So, I'm guessing there's a lurker or two here. Um... 
All right. Okay. Uh, weird blocks, but sure. I mean, I guess you got it, dude, but whatever. Anyway, um... Sure, let's just pick up a land then. Uh, I guess we want a green source here. Um, we're just gonna chill. Just gonna chill here. No, well, they're in the chat because they're they're watching. Like they they're they're participating in the stream, right? Like. I don't know. I, I consider them to still be in the chat. It's not quite... So oh, I see what they're doing here. Ooh, I'm, well, I'm going to get to get them a little bit nicely then. So we're going to do this. And then protect it with this. And it actually gets to keep the, the counter on it too. Which is part of why I love this spell so much. I just saw the count off comment. I like that. Nah, 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 nah. We're not trying to expose the lurkers. Lurkers are always free to lurk. Classic, you know I have a random land in hand. But sure, I guess it's not getting any better for them. Maybe they have a double spell turn here that they want to activate something off of. I mean, yes, technically, but... Oh yeah, I mean, I guess, yeah, it activates the Infernal Pet. So, like, fair enough. Get in for three here. Get in for three here. Uh, oh, hello. Uh, sure. Uh, the bow stability on the tapper does caw- Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Suddenly that attack seems less good if you can't tap down my death touch, I suppose. Come on, what's the worst that could happen, opponent? Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six mana. Ooh, Rootless U is not bad. I've already actually got my stupid Ravenous Lindworm though, so I guess the U is actually just a five mana five four at the moment, which is like a little womp womp. Um now let's make another token. And let's just cast a Craven Hulk. Uh I can chill, I guess. Like, what do I, what do they have here? Five, five. So they need to block with the three power creature to kill anything. I guess they could like, yeah, that, yeah. They actually have like pretty good blocks for a three uh, for this. Um, I will. Can I take with the Horizon Seeker? I don't think I do. Yeah, no, we're just gonna chill here. And my opponent's not representing three in the air, but they're basically no longer able to double spell ever. So this pet's just like out of gas. Unless they do, unless they have like another very good card. Um, medium, medium, Kieran. Okay. So I'm one land away from getting to like actually like do the thing with Savella. I assume this needs to follow, like, timing restrictions, right? It's not bad here. Yeah, okay, that's not bad here. So they get to attack with everything. They can basically ship with everything, since none, like, all of their stuff is, like, quasi-indestructible or whatever. That's sort of amusing. I'll take some damage here for sure, as a result of that. I don't think that spell is very good, but it does look good on this board right now. 
Aha. Uh -huh. You're either talking with everything or with nothing, friend. Like, why are you doing this? Hmm. <clears throat> there is that. There is that. Okay. Aren't they just dead now? As Kieran pointed out. Uh. I guess take two? Well, five, but like, sure. Okay. So they block the five, five, take six, nine, ten. So I guess they're not dead, but I also have a ravenous, ravenous lindworm here. But I can sort of just yeet at them, like out onto the board, gain six, and have a six, six. Um, yeah, I don't know, attack, I guess. deal wait now aren't they dead six eleven no they go to one fair enough they go to one one two three four five six yeah so i'm gonna activate the ability pull another land out let's make it another forest All right, what's the plan this time, OP? Okay. Mm. Yeah, I mean, my opponent made some choices, I guess, but I don't know how good they were. No tax, eh? Just still until your next turn. Yeah, sure, okay. Um They have one card. One card. And they're at one life. Okay. But you gotta pee. Mm-hmm. 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 See, if you were just dead, it would have been faster to concede. That made me think you had something, which is fine, but you didn't. And you just wasted, like, an extra ten seconds of our lives for no reason. Okay. Uh, so be it. Um, how do I feel about Broken Wings? Kind of looks okay here. They had a couple of different flyers. They had the Saga that we saw. What do we think, chat? Uh, Christian Margriff, did the most ability to get lands in hand feel underpowered? Um, good question. Um... It felt very marginal. Like, I really barely, like... Yeah, Borgen Wing's in, I think. Um... Yeah, it's definitely possible that they might have, like, thought a couple of different things. I, like, it's... Yeah, I don't know. Um, in any case... Um, yeah, no, I think... I don't think... I mean, the ramp ability would have been strong, I think. Which is why I think it should have costed three mana. Like, if you make it cost three mana and it actually ramps, then I think that that's fair. Because it takes up a significant portion of your turn to cast an under, like, uh, an over-costed effect for the, what the spell is. Um, yeah, I don't know. 
I don't know. That, like, I didn't love it. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. Um, it was exactly fine, I think. Um, what do I want to get rid of? Maybe I get rid of a Horizon Seeker in favor of a Broken Wings. That kind of seems okay. Speaking of Horizon Seekers. Uh, yeah, everything else looked pretty strong, so I'm good with that. Yeah, I would say that the ability felt pretty marginal. Um, and... I don't, but I do think it would have been too powerful to ramp at two mana. But I also don't think it should cost two mana. I think you, like I said, you boost the cost by one, and then it's actually a pretty good card. Uh, this is a pretty bad hand. It's like all of our best cards in it, but also one mana. Perfect. Six lands and a card that gets me more lands. To five we go. Um, sure. Sure, 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 sure. Let's keep. Let's move a land. Ugh, I hate putting it. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. I hate it. I really hate it, but I think that's what we gotta do. I think keeping the broken wings is more important. Like, I would have honestly put back a second land if. I would have put back a second land. Yeah, like, now in retrospect, I honestly wish I'd kept the Craven Hawk and been to Forest, but I just, I couldn't know that I was going to draw a bunch of lands. Um, I would have kept it if you could have made me that ex that guarantee, like, just, like, actually just, like, lock it in, but uh, somehow I suspect that that is not a thing you would have been capable of, to do of doing. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then you've got... Oh, they didn't have the codename thingy. God damn it, Doomscar Titan. That is not the turn I wanted to draw you on. Uh, sure. I'm obviously not blocking here, but I'm going to get the Graven out. Okay, so we're going to take 4 down to 14, maybe 5 if they can double spell this turn, which certainly this deck is capable of doing. Apparently not, though. If they double spell post-combat, I'm going to laugh. Nope, no, they're just foretelling things. Sure. That's fine, too. Probably not great for me, honestly, but what can you do? All right. Um, so let's foretell the Doomscar Titan. Still lets us hold up the wings, get him for four. Second pet. Oh, and they've got a codename cleric or a codex cleric, whatever the fuck it's called. Oh, or maybe the, 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 the one that foretells for one that gains life. Ah, interesting. Interesting. Okay. Sure. Pretty easy decision there. Ooh, it's a Vela, huh? Um... Just put them in the back foot. Seems okay. Puts two four fours onto the board. Attacks for ten this turn down to potentially as low as six if they don't block. Which they didn't. All right. All right. I don't hate this. Disciple, sure, pitch a land. Disciple is looking like prime sack fodder for the land that they have here. Take four, take six, okay. Okay, my bone's not messing around. Um, okay. So, 
in with this. Ooh, well that's better for me. Don't hate that. And then like this. I suppose I'm just dead here. Well, no, I'm not quite dead on board here, but I am not doing great. I would love to draw Ravenous Lindworm. That would buy me out of a lot of this. I'm gonna have to see what happens here. I'm not feeling great about my position. Their draw was pretty aggressive. It doesn't take a lot of Infernal Pet Triggers for them to feel pretty scary, I will say. I did discard my Infinite Lands, that is true. Just the Valkyrie? or No, you gotta get him with everything, right? Surely? One, two... Really? I mean, I guess it's like a guaranteed kill next turn. Well, no, that feels a little loose. It's not going to matter, unfortunately, for me, but... Yeah. Um... So attack, attack, attack. This blocks. Yeah. That's it for us on this game. On to the, no on to the last one. On to the last one we go. Man, it's funny. The black one deck looks like such a pile of terrible cards. But the two spelling effects are so powerful. Like, you just randomly kind of get there with just, like, these really mediocre cards. It's kind of interesting, honestly. Um... Hmm... I want to replace the other Horizon Seeker with like a shitty spider, just to like block their shitty flyers. Probably. That seems fine. Yeah, I like that. Let's go. Yeah, I don't know how much I like Horizon Seeker. I've been like pretty unimpressed by that card so far. Um. Alright. Play first. Uh, decent, decent, definitely a keep. Certainly a keep. Okay. Let's just foretell that next turn we can play the Cerulves and the Highland Forest. We might get a pretty decent little tempo turn there. Yeah, especially if that's what my opponent is. Ooh, that's also very tempting though, isn't it? That's also very tempting. Hmm. No, I think we go Cerulves here still. I think we go Cerulves here still. i just do this. The Dane, huh? Alright, well, so we're Dane. Jeez, that's actually like really good against these spells, isn't it? F, dude. That's rough. Um, okay. That's, like, better than I had assumed it would be, certainly. Jeez. Like, look at this hand. Just six cost, six cost, six cost. Jeez. Alright, tax. Um, so let's just yeet these into exile for now. 
since they still cost quite a bit to cast even when exiled. The good news is I can struggle for some Scamfar the Redain down. Oh yeah, this is actually going to be a nice little turn for us. This is going to be a good little turn for us, I think. God, my whole deck just gets ruined by this Redain. Holy crap. I'm really glad that we had a set up the way that we did, because, my god, that might have been bad. Alright, um, so let's go struggle for Scamfar. Target this, target this. Bam. Um... Kind of also want to fight the stupid champion, but maybe that's not great. It's a sorcery, so like waiting till next turn doesn't do much. Uh now we're gonna chill on it. We're gonna chill on it. No attacks. No attacks. Because now they don't have great attacks. And if they want to attack, they have to like spend most of their turn just tapping this to deal four to me. Which I assume ends up in my favor. Yeah, getting, getting rid of that Redain was pretty important, I think. That card's a headache. Historic and Tax... Archon Tax and Historic has been doing me well. Are you playing Redain in the new uh, Archon Taxes? That definitely seems like it'd be a pretty uh, pretty spicy include. Ooh, this is a nice turn for us, isn't it? Um, So I have one, two, three, four, five, six mana this turn. Um, So I can, what am I going to do... I can go, so I'm going to go Provoke. I'm going to go Provoke the Trolls. Yeah, we're just going like, to keep their board clear. I'm going to go Provoke the Trolls, targeting this. And then Struggle for Skimfar, fight this. My opponent realizing exactly how good that Redain was is pretty funny. Sure. You get a 1 1. Look, I had a general impression of what the turn was going to look like. I just needed to make sure I sequenced it properly. God, everyone's a critic. Land would actually be a pretty nice draw here because I could go Craven Hulk into Savella. And then the following turn I can grave it. I could uh, Blessing of Frost the gas back up again. That would be pretty nice. Ask any shots. Ooh, Snowland even so that I can Blessing of Frost. You love to see it. You do love to see it. Um, alright, attacks. Show me what shitty thing I'm dying to. I guess I could have the stupid axe. Okay, what? Nope! <laughs> That's pretty good! That's pretty good! Um, alright, fair enough, fair enough. Get wrecked to me. All right, well, time to find more removal, I guess. I, like, kind of feel like I spent all my removal already. Let's take a look at the rest of this deck. Um, I sure did spend all my removal already, so that's never going away. Giant Ox? Exqueeze me? Um, okay. All right, snow mana, snow mana. Two. They would double snow, put two counters here, submit, then draw two. Um, then. I guess, like, the best value is to do this and this. I'm gonna do that. Discard the mountain. Ooh, Doomscar Titan looks kind of hot. Um. All right, all right, all right. No, 
my Doom Scar Titan. Ooh. God, if we lose from here, I'm gonna be real sad. On the bright side, I can just start like Savelling to my heart's content here. Into another Savella, maybe. Uh sure, let's rootless you. Peace. No attacks. The other ones go to the bottom. Or do they just shuffle in? Bottom in a random order? Sure. Ooh. This looks like it could be good. I'm not sure yet, but it kind of looks like it could be good. Let's do this again. Ooh. Oh, baby. We are just going to the moon with this freaking thing. Yep, Savella's pretty messed up in the late game, as it turns out. Pretty good stuff so far. Alright. Um, I'm probably going to sandbank this Broken Wings against the, uh, the Angel. Um... Yeah, whatever. Let's just activate this again. Lol. Savella go burr. Oh, <laughs> sick. That's sick. Let's wake some trolls, baby. Let's wake some trolls. Um, I'm reasonably sure. I'm not. I don't want to test it, but I am not convinced that I'm allowed to uh, mess with timing restrictions that way. Oh, and they're ta- yeah, okay, so they do this. Do they need to do this at source- yeah, sorcery speed only? Nice. Love to see it. Love to see it. Oh, I can see any land from a graveyard? It doesn't even have to be my own land. I can just take the random Hall of Starnheim that'll never do anything. This is fucking sick, dude. Um, sure. Let's just start yeeting shit in there. Let's get, uh, let's get Rowdy. Let's get Rowdy up in here. Okay. Okay. Sure. All right, they do have an Iron Verdict. Ah, I see what they're doing. All right, well, there's two for wanting themselves here at the end of the day. Like, it's a little annoying, but like, not the end of the world. I will say this stupid cow is doing a very decent job of holding down the fort, but what, what can you do? Uh-huh. Um... Yep. Okay. No blocks. 47 friends online? What's it like to have 47 friends? Jeez. Stop flexing on us, beat. Um... I mean, I guess for the style points, this is funnier. Um, how many trolls are we getting here, friends? Have we done any math on this yet? Uh, sure, let's fin. Um, I really, really, really need my opponent. It's super important to me that my opponent not concede before I get 26 trolls. Like, that's just, it's really important to me that they not. I need them not to concede, like, I need them, I need them not to concede. I'm gonna be so sad if they do. Valkyrie sword? Oh, OP, I have bad news for them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm 
Don't concede, don't concede, don't concede, don't concede. We did it! <laughs> then they conceded. That's okay. Nice. It's five trolls. Oh, that was very satisfying. That was a very satisfying win. Clip it. Someone clip my five trolls. And then show me the clip. Hello? I would like to play Magic, please. Service, please. Nice, 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 nice. I mean, three is not bad. Three is more or less what I assumed the top range of what uh, this deck, excuse me, could do was. Hang on. I feel like there was a change that I wanted to make from earlier. Hello. Did I, did I break the client? Hello. Hello. I can still hear the effects. Good lord, that is slow. Um, I feel like I wanted to cut one of the Horizon Seekers for something. I'm wondering if main deck... Yeah, it was. I, I'm wondering if I just like want the main deck Broken Wings. Like, straight up. I think that might actually just be fine. It honestly just might actually be fine. Um... Keeping one Horizon Seeker in the main is fine, because it's still a decent aggressive beater. I wonder if it's like not rolling refuse like recluse is just better. Yeah, you know what? Let's just do this. F you, Horizon Seeker. You're bad. And you should feel bad. Uh new opponent is right. Let's see this clip. Don't concede, don't concede, don't concede, don't concede. We did it! <laughs> then they conceded. That's okay. Nice. Good clip. I like this clip. This is a good clip. Quality clip. Feel free to drop that one into stream highlights. Thank you, Kieran. Alright, alright, alright. What do we got? What do we got? I mean, we're statistically likely to draw Craven Hulk in, like, every single hand we keep. I think that actually might just be statistically current, like accurate. Almost every hand. I think it's like, if we had five, I think we'd be likely to draw it in every hand. Seven, yeah. But, like, yeah, pretty often, I guess, is the bottom line. Um, That being said... I don't know how I feel about this hand. It's probably fine. Yeah, F it. Keep. Uh, sure. Play forest. Burrow champ could be a decent emote. I could see that as well. It's actually not a bad template to work off of either. I just saw that in the. Uh, I just saw that in there. What is that? The Earl off of Binding of the Titans, I guess. Oh, jeez, that sucks, Pete. That sucks. I hate to see that. Um... Dang, this thing's big. That's a thick-ass boy. Uh, I guess we're just chilling. Not really in a rush. card is 
Let's say gold medal champion. Oh, nope, it's not him, Corsair. Okay. That's fine. Um, let's see. Gonna play Craven Hulk. Let's attack first, see what happens. All this is doing is holding back a single damage. Yeah, as as predicted. Uh let's provoke the trolls on the 2-3 first strike flyer before anything terrible happens. And I can always Craven Hulk next turn. To like a reasonably similar effect. My opponent's the aggro though, so I just kinda really didn't want to get uh get got here. Oof, that rune is pretty good there. Uh, deck, I did not need more lands. You know that. Uh, VG, whatever. Oh. Rune Forge Champion. Interesting. Okay, okay. So my opponent's got some runes. My opponent's got some runes. Ooh, bounding gold? That's not bad here. Okay. Like, we're gonna lose these, but... I don't know. Like... Three spells, nine lands? I guess? Uh, yep. That sounds about right. Uh, posture check? Alright, so be it. Ooh. Alright, well... This is actually why I like Immersturm Raider in a deck like this, because we are running 18 lands, so like it's not like completely unheard of that we would draw this many. But Raider helps me mitigate bullshit flood like this. Ooh, and I even get to play another Craven Hulk. Nice. My opponent's hanging on to that trample rune for dear life. Um I guess I just attack here. If their last card is the stupid uh, Iron Price thing, like, whatever. Iron Price, my shitty one one, I guess. Maybe I'll just poison my opponent to death. Three more attacks, OP. Three more attacks. I'm going to deal with this stupid Corsair at some point, but we'll cross that bridge in a minute. Mm -hmm. Sure. So you get plus one, plus one in Trample. Is that actually what the rune does? It does get plus one percent of jungle. My god, deck. Was there a fire sale on lands? Uh sure. There it is. Kind of as assumed, realistically. They're just going to keep bashing in the air for 3, up to 30 now. I am going to need to find something. It doesn't have to be a lot, but it needs not to be more lands, deck. As I said, we lose these. We lose these, but, like... Okay, variance is a thing, I suppose. Like, goddamn, dude. Feels kind of bad. Alright, now they have two flyers, so... Yeah, sure enough. Sigh. Well, moral of the story, don't get flooded, idiot, I guess, once again. Um, I'm wondering if I shouldn't actually be playing a Seize the Spoils in this deck. It actually feels like this might be a deck for that, since I have the excess lands. Hmm. I don't like the card, generally speaking, but I think it might actually be good here. Should, like, just legitimately good here. Um... I think red has struck me as having the best commons. White is not so much strong as it is synergistic. 
uh, in, in from from what I've seen so far. Um, it's not to say that it's bad or anything, but like a lot of its cards are pretty mopey. But it's like when you get to cast, like why does a lot of that cast two spell stuff going on? And like if you get that happening, like now now you're cooking with gas. Um, okay, let's cut a Graven Hulk for a season spoils maybe here. Let's see how we like that. Yeah, that seems okay to me. Synergy is good. Synergy can be strength. It kind of depends because... I've also played against some white decks that have just really struggled to get anything going because you do pay a price for putting, like, actually bad cards in your deck. Not just, like, less than ideal cards, but, like, active... Like, some of the cards that they play are actively bad and they play them just to get the benefit. And, like, sometimes you don't get part A plus part B, and you sort of just end up getting kind of owned. Um, I'm actually going to suspend a struggle with Scamfar here and not the pack mate, because I can go Mountain Recluse next turn. Um, Which I think is going to be better in the long run. Next turn, I can either go double suspend... Or just play the Cerule's Pack Mate if that seems better. Starnheim Courser. Ooh, another Cerule's Pack Mate. Um. Yeah, you know what? Let's actually just do this. And get him in for five here. It's pretty good. Um. And then once again, suspending a struggle. Uh, how good is God Pod in any given format? Wait, what is what is what is God Pod? Sorry, I'm actually like not familiar with the term, so I don't know if you're quoting like if you're just like being cute or if you're actually quoting like a specific thing that I should know about. But I'm not sure what God Pod is. Ooh, Sabella. Let's see. Oh, I see. I love how you said that, assuming like, as though it was like a thing that I should know about. God damn it. Um, I don't know. It could be okay. I feel like the tree is the better god pot if that's what you're going for, but it's probably not terrible on any like on either count. Um one, two, three, four, five, six mana. Uh so I can only I can do yeah, so let's do Savella plus suspend another Sarulfs. Then shift for four here. Ooh, Maya. Maya make a two two. Seems okay. Um, let's cast the Sarulfs. Another Sabella is not exactly what I wanted, but that's okay. That's okay. Um. I guess I just ship with both here, really. Like, if they want to double block, it doesn't really do anything. Sure. Um, and then, yeah, I guess I'll just hold up Broken Wings. Oh! I'm so stupid. <laughs> I could have just disenchanted the freaking... All right, how many people saw that? How many people saw... No, I couldn't have actually cast the U that turn, but I could have just won that turn by disenchanting the stupid uh, not volds. Uh, no, I would have been one short, I believe. Um, I believe I would have been one short, but I'm not also dead certain about that. Um... What I do know, though, is I could have just won, and instead, now they have, like, an army of blockers, which is going to make winning actually kind of hard. So I'm a little annoyed about that one. Um, little annoyed about that one. Well, my opponent's going to look at this and be like, bro, what? Sigh. Yeah, punted that one for sure. Because, yeah, it costs three to activate Savella, so, like, one, two, three, make one, and then I only have four left, so I couldn't have played the U. 
um, in answer to your uh, earlier question. Um, but now I can do that, because I have the land drop. Um, no tax. I actually did miss lethal, so by all means, punt me on that one. I will very much accept the punt there. Ooh, Ruined Crown is pretty hot here. That draws them another card. They get to put the plus one, plus one trample on this, probably. Maybe the lifelink, if they want to start gaining life with the uh, the raptor. Yep, lifelink it is. Draw a card. Crown is really good in a deck where you have a bunch of uh, of runes. Their own not vulgar clues. Okay. I would like to get this Maya off the battlefield. She is pretty strong. Jesus! Alright, um, well, time to start activating the factory. Uh... Ooh... Okay, what happens? No. As much as the Doomscar Giant Titan looks good, here I'm definitely just gonna be provoking trolls. Let's get rid of this. Much better. Much better. Um... No attacks, though, unfortunately. This God's Hall Guardian is a little intimidating at the moment. I'm wondering if maybe I shouldn't have held on to the other thing, but I don't know. I feel like we're going to get there. I feel like we're going to get there. Um, yeah, just think... How about I could just activating this every single turn be? Uh, let's discard... So, discarding the Savella is like the most logical thing because I already have a Savella, but I honestly think that Savella is going to give me the late game. I don't think this fin actually matters on this board anymore. So I think we're just going to discard that. Good draw, good draw. <laughs> um, sure. So now we're just like kind of stalled out a little bit. My opponent's really not making any headway here, so again, let's just keep activating things. Uh, sure. Let's get a 5-5. Five five. Why not? Tick boy, tick boy. Ooh, that's a good draw. Oh, that's a very good draw, isn't it? Alright, one... And two. Let's go Blessing of Frost. Um, yep, pay with triples. Oh, I have triple snow! Oh, nice. I almost missed that I had the triple snow. I'm very glad that they caught that for me. I can just trust, like, I'm just trying seven cards, six cards here. Like, what? Um, submit. <laughs> Ooh, baby, this deck is nice. Uh, blow up your snow land, I guess. I don't know. Mm, play a land. Play an Amersturm Raider. Uh, discard a land. Uh, I don't want to discard a land. Like, Loki land. Oh, yeah, I can discard a land because I can just get a land back anyway. Um. Alright, now what? Uh. Alright, I guess we just still just, like, chill. Like, wait on my opponent to do something meaningful. Eight cards left in my deck? I think we might be able to get to the point where we find the Doomscar Titan again on the turn where we get the trolls, and then I can give all of my trolls plus one, plus oh, in haste, and they all have trample. So that seems like that'll be pretty good to me. Ah, yes, there it is. Uh, and you know what? Yeah, let's just get a Summer Drift Veil. Why the F not? Um, green is fine. 
And then let's just like put some stuff on the battlefield, shall we? Let's let's exile this one so they can't make us get rid of it. And then let's cast a lindworm. Um and then let's this all just end of turn Sabella or something? Yeah, this all this all seems fine. These are all fine things. Uh no attacks. Tick tock, tick tock, OP. I don't know. We, we, we probably did. Look, I just wanted troll lethal. Troll lethal is way more fun than regular lethal. I wanted troll lethal. Emilio, surely, surely you are not trying to tell me. Yeah, we have trolls coming. Like, we just didn't need to go for it there. We had trolls coming the next turn, and they do have, yeah, and the four lifelink is not irrelevant. Like, a four seven lifelinking body is, like, actually enormous um okay well i liked how that game went better than the first game certainly man savella is actually unbelievably ridiculous though like it literally is just golos light and that really just goes to also show you how ridiculously stupid golos is that it's just savella but better and cheaper um solid keep solid keep no complaints That's actually a nice little draw. It'll help keep the uh, the random nonsense contained. We also should have won that game like a while before you tuned in, unless you've just been like lurking for a while, because like we just missed lethal on a turn where I could have disenchanted their uh, what should I call it and just killed me. It's not a bad turn for my opponent. Draw a card, get in for two. Now they've got a flying first strike trampler two and three. Not bad, not bad. Valkyrie Sword. Oh, they're actually just straight up playing the Valkyrie Sword. And a code spell play. Ah, I see. Alright, well, my plan had been to do this. Valkyrie Sword costs three to equip. Um Okay, so part of me wants to play Savella, but I think I'm just gonna play the Broken Wing so we don't just get like obliterated here. If I recall correctly, though, that rune, that rune dwarf, that does surge graveyard as well, right? Axe guard braggart is fine. Um, yeah, let's just play this. This basically blocks their whole team, no problem. Oh, timing permissions are ignored. That's really cool. Okay, I didn't know that. Thank you for looking that up. That makes me feel way better. Because that just means that I can actually just... Ooh, they have their own fit. Interesting. Hmm. They don't want to trade their braggart, apparently. At least that's what that looks like to me. Which looks good to me. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. I like this. Uh... So let's actually go Craven Hulk, hold up Snakeskin Veil rather than tap out for one of my fives. Because this also means that I'm like not quite as lucky to get blown out by what's happening here. My opponent's like already down to like very few cards, and like we're just getting started, so I kinda like where this is going. Um Rune of Sustenance. Sure. Follow the imposter. Um, yikes, that card's pretty good. That card's pretty good. Okay. I'm just chilling on it. Fair enough. Uh, Savella. All right. Um... Let's play Grizzled Outrider here. Or, no, maybe I just play Savella plus still hold up the Thinger. Yeah, I'd rather they kill my Craven Hulk in a turn. That seems better to me. So we're just gonna chill. We're just gonna keep chilling. We're just gonna keep chilling. Hello, uh, at Anchor Point. Welcome back, welcome back. 
Born Klux is, well, Klux is absurd just because of the fact that it is a 6-6 six, six haste trample for 6. But yeah, there are a lot of random plus 1 plus 1 synergies, to be fair, which are all pretty good as well. This is a 6-5 now? Are you attacking? Is my next question. You are. Interesting. Uh, okay. Okay. Very easy blocks. Um, actually... Let's block like this. We can't clear both. That is fine. That is fine. Uh, let's play Sabella again. My opponent's probably like medium on tilt right now. Uh, Exile Creature, yep. Cannot give myself Hexproof, so there go... Spider! An odd choice, but okay, I accept. Um... Sure, I'll take two. That is fine. I guess I just wanted to get Finn in. Um, would have been a little ambitious thing to go back to work done after watching the match. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, we've all been there, I think. All these plans and for what? Uh, sure. Um, tap land is fine. I have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. So let us... Ooh, no. I'm going to do this because I really kind of don't want to tap out a snakeskin veil if I can avoid it. Talk. Um, it's just a set. It's just in your settings, right? Like I can show you real quick if you can't figure it out. But like, if you look at like look at Discord here, I'll just show you here real quick. You go to user settings, voice and video, and then you just toggle push to talk, and then you'll it'll just ask you to bind a key to push the talk. Okay. And you just have to bind just bind it to a key that you're not likely to use for any other reason, but that also isn't like super awkward to push every time. That's like always the hardest part is just figuring out like. Something you won't use often, but that you, you that you'll want to use often enough. Um, sure. So, Runeforge Champion here, yeah, and I do believe that that lets them pick up the dead rune, right? Though they might just go look for one in their in their library. The graveyard one is like better value, though I think. Yes, yeah, so they put trample. We have the Rune of Sustenance back, not the Rune of Might. I thought that they might put the Rune of Might on the uh, Finn because of the first like, strike death touch combo. Looks like we're just going to the moon, though, on this thing. God, can I draw my freaking... Uh... Oh, no, I've already drawn my Broken Wings. That's not good. I need to draw, like, a fight spell or something. All right. Go to 31, I guess. Yikersy. Yikersy. Tell something. Land is not ideal. It does give me the four, the eighth mana for Savella here. Let's go to combat first. See what happens. Um, so I'm at eight. Hmm. Yeah. Let's play the rootless you. And then the next turn, I think, is going to be my Savella turn. We're going to go down to four. Playing with fire a little bit here. Um, but I think we do what we got to do. That's all Guardian resolves. Now what? this packmate's not bad so 
So this says any spell. So I think that's it's be definitely better for me to look at the top three here for sure. And then to try to draw one random. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Get out of here. Get out of here with that. Right, and then we just chill. Okay. Yes, I would like to go get my gain four worm out of my deck. Thank you. Sure. That is fine. Alright. We're struggling back into this game. Struggling back in. Uh... Let's gain four. Um, then let's foretell. Uh, just in case they have like random artifact destruction, let's just use this. And then I can still just chill here. We are, we are definitely, we are battling back. We are battling back. I may have just won to your opponents. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a shit way. It's a shit way to like. It just it just sucks. Like the glittering frost bug is just not fun. And like I'm pretty surprised they're not just like rolling out mass compensations right now. It feels like pretty silly to me. Um. All right. So like once again, let's just like draw a thousand. Uh huh. So we're gonna go. Snow, 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 blessing of frost, pilot trip snow, two, one, submit, yep, uh, four mana left, let's suspend struggle for Skemfar. I could just kill the stupid God's Hall Guardian here. That doesn't seem terrible, but I guess I can do that next turn anyway. Let's do this. Um, and then pass. We still don't need to do anything here. 13 cards left in my deck to my opponent's 18. But like, they're kind of starting to lose this game pretty quickly now. Well, yeah, they're, like, falling, like, further and further behind here. Uh, forest. Let's struggle. Have this, fight this. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, let's Hulk. Let's Finn. So Rolfs. Pass, I guess. I can start attacking here too, I think. Definitely with this. Yeah, let's just get in there, honestly. Uh, yep. Yeah. Gotta start doing some damage at some point. My opponent is at roughly infinite. Uh huh. I think we might have this one, folks. Nice. Battle back. The power, wow, that Blessing of Frost has been absolutely ridiculous every game. And it is a sick combo with Savella, since she just makes snow artifacts, which I missed the first time around. But, oh baby, is that pretty nice. Like, our late game is actually just unbeatable. If we don't die to the early aggro deck, 
we are just literally like unkillable. Just beefcake, 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 removal spell, beefcake. It's just, it's a beautiful thing, really. All right, all right, all right. Just about eight o'clock, closing in. Yeah, Len, I've been driving. Jeez, I've been live for nine hours so far. It doesn't even feel that bad. I haven't like actually hit a point of like, oh my God, how are we still playing? There's a big difference between a 12 hour stream and a 24 hour stream, obviously. Hot dog water. I don't know. There's a um there's somebody who chats in frequently chats in a Dead by Daylight stream that I watch by the name of Hot Dog Water. So I'm kind of wondering I'm wondering if that's the same person. I mean obviously that's not like a super unique name or anything, but I'm wondering if it's not the same person. I feel like I might ask them next time I see them in the chat. Anyway. Play first for sure. Fine pack, like or like fine hand. Basically, this is my turn two and my turn three. Turn four, eventually get to do this. Seems fine. That's your alt account? I really hope it is. The, the, the kappa implies that it's not, but it is. I hope I do hope that's true. And yeah, no, I mean, obviously, yeah, it's a fresh format, so, like, we're trying a bunch of new things. It's really cool. I'm definitely enjoying that. Definitely enjoying that aspect of things. Kind of feels bad that you when you draw the, the card that your other card is supposed to be able to tutor for, but whatever. I'll still be happy to have that when my opponent, like, starts aggro zerging me down. <laughs> green deck. I feel like I like my matchup against another green deck. Oh, wow, they milled over a bunch of good stuff. So they milled over a Fall of the Imposter and a Roots of Wisdom and picked up a Jaspira Sentinel? Oh, opponent. Ugh. That's not what you want to be doing. That That's not a real card. I'm okay with my car my opponents not putting real cards in their deck. That just makes it easier for me to win. But, uh, yeah. It's just not a real card. That's a real card. That's a very real card, as a matter of fact. Um, let's attack. See what they do. No blocks. Fine by me. Uh, let's just play a Craven Hulk deck. No. Just a reminder to anybody who's in the chat lurking or otherwise right now that uh, isn't already. Um, you'll find a link to my Discord right here and uh, you are very welcome to uh, to come and join it if you should uh, be so inclined. Uh, let's attack here. Kind of want to see how they'll block. Kind of need to. They're going to 8 if they don't. Okay. This is fine. All right, seems fine. This does give them a different color of mana for what that's worth. So like maybe that's what they're on about here. I'm just gonna cast another Craven Hulk. I don't like honestly. Like this is fine. This is fine. My opponent is very mana screwed from the looks of things. Although not much more mana screwed than I am. Like we both technically have four mana. It's just the problem is their four mana requires them to tap. They're two creatures. This is why this card is not great. Oh my god, they're playing Arachniform? These are not real cards, opponent. They're just not. PSA, don't play Arachniform and, and just be a Sentinel. This, this opponent looks like they are playing a deck that they had to, like, that somebody paid money to have for something to draft. This looks like a meme draft to me. Maybe that's cruel. Like, or, like, not cruel. I don't know. Maybe that's, like, not completely fair, but I don't know. Anyway, whatever. Um, yeah, no attacks here. We can just win next turn. We can just win next turn. Revitalize on the splash. What is going on, opponent? Don't tell me they didn't even draw another land because of that either. Like, what is happening here? This is absurd.
Let me just cast this Demon Scar Titan so we can just end this farce and move on to the next game. Another Roots of Wisdom, eh? You got it. Milling over two lands and a Wings of the Cosmos. This is the worst three... My opponent cannot possibly be 2-0. I refuse to believe that this deck did just as well as my deck. Like, that's honestly insulting to consider. Um, Like, these are just... These are just not good cards that my opponent is playing. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Kill. Is there some sort of combo deck I'm missing here? Is that what's going on? Okay. So I want to take a look. Oh, I didn't get it. Oh, yeah. View Battlefield. Here, right, it's the cave. So, Boreal Outrider and Double Wings of the Cosmos. Double Roots of it. Boreal Outrider and Fall of the Imposter so far are the only cards I've seen that are actually, like, worth anything. However, I also want to point out the fact that my opponent has zero snow mana anywhere to be seen. So, like, truly what is happening? Truly am I being pranked? Um... Okay, I guess. I guess. Do I want to bring in the Seize the Spoils? Um, I guess not. I'm just going to run it back. If we get any more information, I'll make a different decision. But, like, literally my opponent is playing just, like, green-white 15th pick dot deck. <laughs> it's just prank. Why are you mad? It's just prank, bro. Bro, why? Um, hand is fine. Hand is fine. I'm gonna prioritize uh, suspending the Doomscar Titan over casting the Emberstorm Raider. Again, I don't like casting a card like that that can be card advantage on a turn where I don't really have anything I actively want to discard. Oh my god. I'm gonna discard my opponent's deck. Okay. Elves, I guess? Yeah, okay, sure. You got me. Ooh, decent draw. Decent draw there. Let's attack. Give that poison. Cast Savella. Mm-hmm. Okay. Itself? Sure. Sure. Uh, land is nice. Land is nice. Uh... So I can do a bunch of different things, but not really any one thing. So I could go... Let's see. He's the only game. Why are you mad? Why are you mad? He's the only game. Um. Let's just go Graven Hulk. Uh. No tax. <laughs> Draw a card. Oh no, they get a land back. Sure, 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 sure. I forgot that they could get a land back. That's like somehow worse. 
Like, all right, you got it. And they melt over our broken wings. And they're casting another Roots of Wisdom. And this time they're getting back the Elf, I assume. Yeah. And they melt over an Arachniform and, and uh, a third Roots of Wisdom. Oh my god, I swear to god. Like, if I lose to this opponent, honestly, just ban me from Twitch. <laughs> ban me from Twitch if I lose to this opponent. Dear god. Um... I just honestly feel like I'm getting cranked. Oh, I didn't need to do that there. Damn. Oh, well. I'm still trying to figure out what the trick is. Like, I feel like I'm just getting completely roped in right now. And I'm about to just get my ass just handed to me by something. Because it's the only logical explanation for what's happening right now. Yup. Yup, 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 yup. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ay, uh, dude. <laughs> what is happening? Uh, sure, combat. Attack with. Oh. No, I don't even want to attack with this one. Just attack with this one. Hmm. Sure. That is a okay. With me. What is next? More lands. You got it. I mean, at least that's like a reasonable guard. Hold a 6-6 six, six because of the rally the ranks. Wouldn't mind finding my own broken, whatchamacallit. Um, I guess I'll take 6 here. It's not nothing. No blocks. Do this. Shoot down the sentinel. It's your last card upon it. Okay. I guess I knew they had two of those. Um I guess I did know they had two of those. Um, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So only have exactly enough for that. I think that's fine. Um, no tax. End the turn. Give me God just by this random anthem. More than anything else. Well, they just didn't go to attacks. That's wild. Uh, ooh, what do I want here? Blessing of Frost is, yeah, it's only a draw one right now. So I could get a pack mate, or I could get an outrider. I guess outrider is just fine. Land. Oh, I shouldn't have played land. Actually, that was bad. Should not have played land. 
Well, all right, just hanging out, just hanging out, just a bunch of friends hanging out. Take it easy, rookie. Enjoy the commander. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate you doing so. They're just like letting me do this for free. Ooh, broken wings? Yes, that is what I wanted to see. Um, Let's just get rid of this. This random anthem is like too many stats. Too much of a stat line. Um, I also miss Commander Knight. True story. Uh -huh. Send that into exile as well. Combat. Yeah, I guess just ship with the 5-5. Five five. I don't mind trading for either of their 5-5s. Five Maybe I do mind. Maybe I do mind. We are at relatively close life totals right now. I'd rather just hold them back. Like, our late game just has to be better than theirs. I refuse to believe it's not. My pride will not allow it. Further Craven Hulk shenaniganery. Um, so we're we gonna just struggle for Skemfar here. I don't. My only concern to struggle for Sem Skemfar is that they probably have another one of those dumb uh, Wings of the Cosmos cards all rolled up. Mm. Okay, now that I have a second Craven Hulk, I'm actually okay shipping with this. If they want to just trade the 5-5 five, five for the 5-5, five, five, or for their trick, I'm okay. Yeah, this is fine. Like, that actually just makes it easier for me. Um, Keep chilling. Just keep chilling. Just keep chilling. Sure. Sully, what are you doing? Such panic. Why you panic? Hello. You're okay. You're okay. Um. I'll absolutely two for one myself just to get this random six five off the board. Not a problem at all. Sure. Could I have won this turn? I didn't really think about what Doomscar Titan did. I'm just kind of having fun messing around with Savella. We could have won this turn if I'd like done some math, but whatever. Math is math is for math is for blockers. Good game opponent. Alright. This deck was nice.